Welcome to what was once one of the most vibrant resorts in all of Las Vegas. Today, we are at Rio. We booked a deluxe One King suite. If you didn't know, Rio is an all suite property, so all of their rooms are at least 500 square feet. Our room cost us $15 for the night and we are in late August. It's definitely dated, but that is not the worst issue. It smells very stale in here like old carpet and harsh cleaner. It's not pleasant. On the positive side, there is a mini fridge and also a sleeper couch, which allows you to pack in more people if you're budgeting. I knew going into it that this hotel would most likely not be in good condition, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this bad. Immediately upon entering our room, the TV was left on and a woman was speaking softly and I was completely freaked out. Upon inspection, the room looked like it was semi-cleaned a while ago. I found receipts dated July 28th, left from the previous guests who stayed here. Just as I suspected, no one had been in this room since July, and today is August 24th. I knew the furniture was gonna be worn out, but this furniture and bed sunk in so much you could barely sit on it. All of the lamps and tables were crooked and the floor sloped down where the bed was as if the room was sinking. You can hear so much construction going on and the walls are paper thin. This is a warning to anyone looking to stay here before they remodel the place. And I really wanna emphasize that the walls are super thin. I can hear the neighbors flushing the toilet. You're probably wondering why I'm here. Well, I just wanted to stay here one last time and really showcase what it looks like before it gets renovated. It's going to be renovated slowly as they are planning on being open while the remodeling takes place. But I have to say, this place is looking really sad. At one point, there was so much going on here at this resort, including the Carnival World Buffet, which was huge, the Voodoo Rooftop Lounge and Nightclub, which had epic views of the city, the Masquerade Village, which actually had stores open and people in it, and the whole place was Mardi Gras themed. Above all, who could forget the Masquerade Show in the Sky? I watched it so many times when I was little and it was one of my favorite things to do in Vegas. I'm sure many people missed the show as it ran from 1997 to 2013. There were floats on which performers would sing and dance on and throw Mardi Gras beads to the audience. There was also a floor level stage where additional performers would be dancing as well. The track that held these floats along with the stage are still here today, which feels very sad and eerie. I, like many, would love to see Rio bring it back. For the last few years, this resort has been pretty much abandoned. The last time I stayed here was in 2016, and this is not what the place looked like at all. There's barely anyone here. The entirety of Masquerade Village is empty. There are still a few shops open, but many of the shops and dining areas are closed, and it's been this way for quite some time. We've seen many homeless people at this property, especially towards the Twain entrance. What I find strange is that they still have some iconic shows here that are vastly popular. Like Penn and & Teller and Chippendales, but they still felt the need to neglect the property. 
If you go online, you can see that Rio has some nasty reviews. Almost all of the recent reviews have been extremely negative. If you didn't already know, Caesars sold the Rio to Dreamscape in December of 2019 for $516 million. And since this time, Dreamscape has raised $850 million to completely remodel the property. You can see the remodeling construction happening everywhere. The buffet is now turning into a food hall. The rooms are getting completely refurbished in classic Rio style, at least from what the renderings show so far. I really hope they don't de-theme this resort. If you guys have seen my channel before, you know I'm an avid fan of themed properties. I really feel like it's what made the Rio so special in the past. What a comeback it would be to just renovate it and fully double down on the theming while these other Las Vegas hotels have done their due diligence to do the opposite. Okay, we're gonna go check out the pool. The pool area was definitely not how I remembered it. It was essentially trashed and looked like a tornado had come and ran through it. There were lounge chairs in the pool. It looked like a severely worn out version of its old self. Two pools were closed, none of the waterfalls were active, and the feeling was sad overall. The pool also looked as if it wasn't maintained properly, so I left. And as for staying here, I would hold off until it's completely renovated. I didn't even stay the night in the room. Walking around the Rio for a few hours will give you a lot of insight into how badly the property has fallen apart. It's a known thing that homeless people make their way in by the convention center and have to be kicked out by security. Someone was getting arrested in the valet drop-off area right in front by check-in. Then another person was getting arrested a few hours later in the same area. One person was screaming and cursing at his girlfriend over the phone by the roulette tables. Overall, I did not feel nearly as safe here as I did back when I came here before. It was truly unbearable. I mean, I had low expectations for this place, but not nearly this low. I just had to leave. I've never left a hotel without staying in it other than Silver Sevens. Rio gave Silver Sevens a run for its money. On a positive note, I did win $20 on roulette, which essentially paid for the price of the room. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more from me and I'll see you next time. Bye.